Hey everybody, this is Kimberly. Welcome to my uh, personal game update. I haven't done an update for a while with my alien. Um, her name is Florida Hale. And uh, she has definitely changed houses. Um, if you're new to my personal game, she uh, was born from a guy who was my test test dummy, I guess you could say, for the um, dumpster diving challenge. And he got abducted by aliens and had a baby girl. And uh, this is her. She is currently studying architecture. And yes, she has a butler. Um, she's got a lot of money, 113,000 simoleons, um, not from any cheats or anything, just from doing various things. Um, she's just the sim that I play when I don't feel like doing uh, Let's Plays or anything like that. So she is um, living in quite a shack. <laughs> she is living here because... She's an architect, and I thought it would be fun if she lived in some of the... We're in, we're in Twinbrook, by the way. And uh, I figured it would be fun if she lived in some of the houses that were really like ramshackle-type houses. And she could um, fix them up. So this episode is going to be sort of like a before and after type episode. She is, uh, I think what they're trying to do here is make it look like a mansion burned down. Like here's the front door and then this is where the foundation would be and this is the barn. So she's actually living in the barn. Uh, it actually looks better at night than it does during the day. It's really, um, a really not fun place to live. But if you move, if you live in Twinbrook, it's a pretty good starter house. It does already come with these three skill building items and this computer. Um, I haven't switched out the toilet or tub. The only things I've really done is I switched out the refrigerator and the stove and her bed, which is upstairs, which aliens don't need to sleep. <laughs> they have brain power. So the bed is actually really just for her um, butler, who's hap whose name happens to be Kimberly. It's spelled a different way than mine, but I thought that was pretty funny that the butler that came for her is Kimberly. So she's, uh, so Florida is going to be doing a makeover for this house. And I thought it was pretty funny. One of the pictures that she drew was like, it looks like a bathtub. So I figured I would put that in the bathroom. This house is very weird. And you can tell they definitely were trying to make it look like, um, something in the swamps or something like the bathtub has just a gate. <laughs> yeah. And believe it or not, that's enough privacy. Um, I think it just considers this a room. So she could take a bath here and somebody else could be in this room and it doesn't bother her. Um, so that's pretty funny. Um, and there, this mounted fish was already on the wall. So um, we're going to do a makeover. I'm pretty sure this uh, was already here also. This easel, I think, was already here. And I really like this couch. It's going to stay. Um... Oh, I put the bunny in because I like for her to have a bunny in all of her houses. Um, upstairs, it came with a bar, a chess table, and a um, uh, telescope. There you go. And indoors, for some reason, we have an awning. <laughs> so yeah, this house definitely needs a makeover. So I figured this would be fun uh, for her to sort of like make over the town because she's been going to different people's houses anyway and doing room makeovers because I have her being an architect right now. I think she's level four. Yeah, she's level four. So, oh, she just finished another picture. Let's see what it is. Oh, I actually sort of like that. I really do like a lot of the sketches that they do uh, in this game with this uh, sketch thing. So we're going to keep it. And I and I did put this picture in. This is uh, She was gifted this picture for being a celebrity. And it's one of my favorite pictures in the game. It's based on singing in the rain, but it's bunny in the rain. So we are going to do a makeover of this. Um, and I'll show you before and after. So this is the before. And also she did travel to China. And she's been working on her um, martial arts. And this incense holder, if you're not familiar with it, is the one you buy in China. It does um, help you uh, gain skills faster. So we have one here and we also have one in here, which is this one even lit? Yeah, it is. Um, I haven't ex experienced this myself, but I heard somebody say recently that this can catch on fire. So um, it's not something I've ever seen, but somebody said it. So just be aware of that. And I did get her... Um, I, actually, she has gone to all three countries at least once, so I did get her the chest from each one. Out here and back, we have a clothes dryer and clothesline 
<clears throat> I mean, a washing machine and clothesline. And also she has a time machine that she built. And she's traveled. I've been having her travel to the past uh, to try to get a kid. Um, you can get, I think it, I think you can get a child going to the past and the future. So I've just been having her travel occasionally. Uh, oh, she's got some work to do. Uh, go ahead. Well, no, I'm not going to tell her to perform the job right now because we're going to do the makeover and then we'll be back. So I'll be back in just a minute. And we're back. It's been a couple of real life days and a couple of sim days. <laughs> I've had her playing in the house just to make sure I didn't mess anything up when I did the remodel. Um, so you can see she's got some landscaping going on outside. It's not my strong suit, but I think I did a decent job. I got rid of the pond that was out here. I moved the mailbox and put these plants next to it. Uh, she still has this little pond slash creek thing over here next to the house. She's cooking something. I put a little parking area here for her with some hedges around it, a little walkway up to the house, some sunflowers. I put a magnolia tree in the backyard because I figured it's supposed to be like Louisiana swamp area. So um, on the front porch, this little sun porch, I did put the couch that I like a lot. Uh, I think I'm going to try dimming this light though because it seems awfully bright. Can I dim it? Uh, set intensity, dim. Uh, still still pretty bright but so the outside I'm pretty happy with it is still winter um, four days until spring in the front of the house I did uh, take out any windows except these up here I left those but I put in these bay type windows I put some windows on the outside of the house which you'll see in a moment so let's page down you can see the inside is much brighter uh, believe it or not I left the flooring um, it looked, I liked how it looked. It's pretty neutral. Uh, so, again, the counters in this house are just blaring from the light. Um, but, let's see, can I dim the whole house? Oh, she needs to clean out the refrigerator. Set intensity. Dim. All lights. Eh, didn't help much. Come up here and clean out the fridge. Um, I wanted to show a tour of the house and then I'm also going to show you some things that I've learned about The Sims recently and I've been playing this game for a long time but it's always possible to learn things. Different people play in different ways and they might try different things and you'll learn um, how to do things in a different way or things you didn't even know you could do. So I watch a lot of Let's Plays. So some of these things I'm going to show you I've learned from Let's Plays and some from other Simmers that they've told me. Uh, so you can see downstairs we did the kitchen. I put all these windows in. Um, I put candles, plants, TV, couch, rug, a new nice new laptop and desk. Of course I had to put the bunny back in the house because that's my thing for her. She always has to have a bunny in her house. And I redid the bathroom. I put uh, walls around the bathroom and gave it... Uh, I did go ahead and leave this tub in here, this tub picture. Oh, and I had, did uh, buy her some um, a rubber duck and some bubble bath. So I want to put these in while I'm thinking about it. There you go. If I don't do that from the top, I always end up with them being lost somewhere. So, all right, and let's go upstairs. And I put a washer and dryer in upstairs. And I also decorated the upstairs with a bunch of stuff from the different countries because she has been traveling to the different countries. So I figured it would be sort of like um, her uh, souvenirs or whatever that she's brought back. This bed is from um, uh, World Adventures. I did leave this picture that she had done upstairs. Not sure if I love it there. Maybe, oops, let's see, can I drag it? Can I drag it over here? Yeah, maybe better. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I just really like that picture. This lamp also I know is from World Adventures. And I gave her different wallpaper up here and so forth. So she did uh, quite a bit of work on this house and we will eventually move out of it and move into another uh, shack and do a makeover on it. So it, it was really fun uh, to do that. So. I do like uh, remodeling. I don't like building, but I like remodeling. So there you go. Um, I did want to show you a few things. One thing is something I've recently learned. 
um, from a Let's Play uh, from Landros, L-L-A-N-D-R-O-S-09. Um, I knew that there were um, mods that would reset your town for you, reset sims for you. Now you could reset one sim if you know their name. You could just type reset sim, their first name and their last name and it'll reset them. But I didn't realize you could reset all the sims in your neighborhood. So the way you do that is control shift C to bring up your cheat window. And you have to bring up your uh, turn on testing cheats, which I've already done, but I'll do it again in case you don't know how to do that. Testing cheats enabled true. And then um, you bring up the window again, control shift C, and you type reset sim, all one word. But then instead of typing a sim's name, you type a star, an asterisk, and enter and it resets all the sims in your neighborhood it won't fix any broken um, items like if there are uh, abandoned cars that sometimes will uh, cause lags in the game stuff like that it won't fix any of that um, but it did reset all the sims in the neighborhood now one downside to this is now she has to rehire the butler because the butler went away I tested this earlier just to see if it'd work um, so we're going to have to call the butler again. Maybe they'll send us the same lady. I did clear out her inventory some in between episodes also. Alright, so maybe they'll send us the same lady again. Um, okay, so that's one thing. You can reset all the sims in the neighborhood. Another thing is... Um, okay, let's do this real quick. All right, so let me come up here and make sure that the bed is set for the butler. Oh, good, they sent the same one, Butler Kimberly. She puts an E-Y at the end of her name, and I don't, but there we go. All right, so another thing that you can do is, um, and again, I'm going to use a cheat to do this. You can, these moodlets over here, okay, let me back up. In Sims 4, if you have a Sim who needs to do something like, they really have to use the bathroom, and I, since I have cheats on, I could drag this down. Um, normally, you have like these little circles over here that you can click. I'm gonna pause it real quick. Oh, she's peeing herself, oops. <laughs> oh well, we'll, we'll, we'll still, I, I shouldn't had to drag, should not have dragged it all the way down. Sorry, Kim, sorry, uh, Florida. Sorry. Okay. Is she going to pee herself? Yep. All right. Well, that's okay because that'll drop her hygiene. So, um, in Sims 4, I'm going to pause it. In Sims 4, you have these things over here that you can click on and tell them to go directly to take care of the hygiene or go directly to eat something or whatever. But we don't have those in Sims 3. But my friend Shannon, who is... Uh, who started her own uh, channel recently called Clean Summer, so you should totally check her out. Uh, she's given me several tips. And this is one that you can uh, use these moodlets here to tell your sim to do something. So if I click on this moodlet, if they, if they have a need and you click on the moodlet, it will tell them to, what to do. So that just told her, in case you missed it, I'll get rid of it. If you click on this, okay, click on it, that told her to go take a shower. So I never noticed that. I've never seen anybody do it. So thank you, Shannon, for that tip. Another tip that Shannon gave me is um, if you have a moodlet that you don't want in here, again, testing cheats has to be on for this. But if you have a moodlet down here that you don't want, you can control click it to get rid of it. Now, the only time I've used it is um, this is actually something I think is a glitch in the game. If you have a teenage sim who's been hunted by a vampire they get the hunted moodlet here but it never goes away and I actually did experience that in a game and I had to um, control click it so if you want to get rid of a moodlet this one's good but we'll get rid of it anyway control click and it goes away but again uh, testing cheats has to be on for that another thing that I've learned recently um, from watching another let's play I can't remember that person's name uh, I was just watching some random Let's Play. But 
I've used the fire pit a lot in the game, but I didn't know that you could roast multiple vegetables. I've only ever roasted one vegetable at a time. So you could actually roast, I think, up to three vegetables or fish uh, simultaneously, which is a time saver because I've always had them like roast a bell pepper, eat it if they're still hungry, roast something else, so forth. Uh, so I'm going to take down her hunger just so she doesn't um, get stuffed. All right, so she's going to light the fire pit. And she keeps changing into this outfit. I don't think I made that one of her outfits. I'm going to have to check. Uh, let's see. Roast something. I'm going to tell her to roast um, onion, potato. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, all right. Hold on. Let's try that again. Roast something. Um, onion. Don't go anywhere. Rainbow trout and tomato. I tried doing more than three and it wouldn't let me, so I think three really is the limit of what you can do. Yeah, I don't know why she keeps changing into this outfit. <laughs> uh, I might have given it to her and just didn't realize it, so it's probably my fault. Because I thought I had get, gotten rid of all her modern uh, or futuristic clothing. Okay, so the maid did laundry, or the butler did laundry, because now we have this awesome mood look from that. Okay, so as you can see, she is roasting multiple things simultaneously, which I never knew you could do before. So there is always something. Oh, Bunny Curious is having a party. We should go to that. I'll say yeah, but I'm not going to promise anything. All right, so let's see. Okay, there's one more thing uh, I want to show you that I never knew before, and then one more fun thing. So I'm going to... Okay, she's got this umbrella over here in the floor. Now, um, you... I don't play with umbrellas very much, but if you play with umbrellas, you might notice that they do get tattered and look terrible after a few uses. So it, I never noticed this before. I was playing, I think it was Landros, L-L-A-N-D-R-O-S-09. He uh, had his sim go over and upgrade his uh, thing to Unbreakable. I had no idea that you could do that. So I, had, I went to have her do this and she actually upgraded it to Glow, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So, um, Normally when you click on this, if it's broken, you have the option to repair it. And when it's a new umbrella, you have the option to upgrade to Unbreakable or upgrade to Glow. So I had her upgrade it to Glow. And then you have to turn the lights on. You could also change the color of the Glow. I'm going to change it to yellow. And I'm going to have her come over here and put this in her inventory. And then when it gets dark, I will show, I'll have, I'll make it rain. Now, for the next thing, we need an unsuspecting sim, and I have a feeling the poor butler is the one who's going to get it, unless a paparazzi shows up. Although, I could call and invite somebody over. Uh, let's see, who could we invite over? <laughs> we could invite over our poor uh, sim bot that we had created. Who's this guy? Rico London. Can you come over? Invite over. And while we're waiting on him, we'll run up here and grab this. He should show up pretty quickly. <clears throat> Alright, he'll be here shortly. Because I, I uh, got something from the reward store that I want to uh, show you. I could do it to the butler, but I think it might damage your relationship with the sim when you do it to them. And I don't want to damage my relationship with the butler. She might poison my food. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They don't really do that. <laughs> um, all right, are you going to go get that? So we're just waiting for darkness and for this other sim to show up so I can show you these other things. All right, an uncut ruby, not worth very much. Is this guy going to show up? There he is. All right, go over here. All right, so this poor guy doesn't even know what's about to happen to him. But I download, I mean, I got it from the reward store. You can um, get something called the Cloudinator. Cloudinator. And I had never really played with it. 
Um, I'll show you what it looks like in our inventory. It's this thing, the Cloudnator 9000. So we're going to shoot a cloud at him, and it is pretty darn funny. I'm going to shoot a cloud of rain at him. And hopefully this won't hurt our relationship too much. We've got a pretty high relationship. Okay. Just the reaction after you do it is the funniest part. <clears throat> <laughs> She's laughing at him. Yeah, it... Okay, let's just watch what he does. <laughs> he's running around, but he's also leaving puddles, which is really funny. Yeah, so it does hurt your relationship. Uh, so I would not do that to people that you care very much about, such as family members, unless you want to make them angry. Can we say goodbye? <laughs> Well, I guess I'll let you stay around the house for a little bit. But if you get the furniture wet, the maid's, the, the butler's going to be mad at you. All right. And then uh, we're waiting for darkness. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward real quick so we can wait for darkness. Oh, there's the paparazzi. I should have waited for him to show up. Oh, well, while we're waiting for darkness, I guess he's going to get it. We'll do a, a uh, snow cloud over him. Yeah, we can't go to the party. We're waiting for it to get dark so we can use our umbrella. Let's see, how much time? We have four days until spring. All right, let's watch this. Is this going to work? Hopefully it'll work on the paparazzi. Sometimes things don't always work with the paparazzi because they're NPCs, so... Okay, is that not going to work? Here, go down here. Maybe we can call him over. <laughs> oh, yay! An alien. Uh, let's see. Can we call him over? Draw his attention. There we go. That'll work. Okay, let's try this. Friendly. No, wait, it's not under friendly. Uh, shoot cloud snow. Can you do it now? Oh, look! Look at her umbrella! See how it's glowing yellow? The handle is glowing yellow? Can you do it on the porch? Are we not... See how our handle is glowing yellow? So that's what the upgrade glow does. It's not raining. Why are you using your umbrella? Okay. I wonder if I can, if I go over here, way over here, go here, and then attract his attention. Maybe he'll come out. All right, stop. Go over here. Run. I don't have all day. <laughs> all right, now he's coming out. Okay, let's try it again. If it doesn't work this time, we'll just give up. Uh, shoot, cloud, snow. Stalker, you deserve it. <laughs> it's not going to let her, is it? I don't think it's going to work. Well, maybe. Is he coming over? Can you do it to him? I think it's just not going to work with the paparazzi because they're NPCs. Darn it. <laughs> you deserve it more than anybody. Oh wait, maybe. <laughs> I just like the way they run around flailing their arms afterwards. That's the funniest part. Ah. It sort of reminds me of um, 
if you ever played The Sims 2, there was a thing that you could download from uh, The Sims 2, like EA had it uh, online, you could download it into your game, where they would run with scissors and then they would die from it, which I totally wish they would bring back to Sims 4. I would be so, so, so happy. Oh, look, he left. Good, good riddance. Get lost. Oh, well, if that works on getting rid of paparazzi, we all need one of these things. So, again, that's the cloud meter. Um, I've been doing it to re random people around the town. They're not freaked out n enough that I'm an alien. i got to go and, like, you know, do weird stuff to them. So, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this update. I'm going to keep playing her just in between other families and so forth. And I probably will have her eventually sell this house and move into another house and remodel it. Just for fun. Just to see what we can do and maybe branch out in my remodeling because I always tend to do like the same kind of look. <laughs> so maybe next time I can do something more rustic or so forth. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to go check out Shannon's channel, uh, Clean Simmer. Hope you have a great day. Keep on simming. Bye.